will I find redemption or will I be haunted by my arch nemesis? Coming up in part two. Okay, welcome back to the ranch. So this is what I've been dealing with for uh, a couple years now. And I think what I'm gonna do is just try to essentially replicate this. I think what I'll do is I'll uh, take this down so that these grooves here and here both match, uh, giving me enough, uh, enough room here to be able to put this, uh, these top crossbars level with the legs. But it's pretty straightforward. Let's get to it. Okay, I thought it'd be easier to use the template from the cardboard that I already had. All right, let's go make some cuts. And this, uh, this long piece of plywood is actually some scrap that was left over from the bed build that I did. If you haven't seen that video, I'll stick a link up for you right here. Uh, I don't have a table saw yet, so I'm having to make these cuts carefully on the miter saw, but it worked. And again, just tracing the diagram uh, of the, from the cardboard onto these similar pieces of, of wood. Okay, uh, well this is pretty much where we were when we, when we left off with the, the cardboard one, uh, except I cut some, some little grooves here you see in the, in the legs. But, you know, I'm thinking if this is going to be the guy, the, the permanent one, uh, we could probably step it up a notch. Let's get going with that, step two. I honestly had no idea what I was going to do and then all of a sudden I just thought well I have this flat piece that has enough room in it what a cool idea to stick our logo on there so this is my rudimentary attempt to make that happen And then here I just thought, well, I have the space on the back side of it, even though you're not going to see much of it. I thought I'd just uh, get rid of a little bit of wood and make a cool circle design. So I'm just picking the, the router bit for the, the edge work on all the pieces. The front side of all the pieces. There's actually two different router bits I used. One more decorative on the front that you see here, and, and then a smaller one just to kind of round over the edges of the back side, or the, or the insides, basically, of, uh, of all the pieces.
And then the sanding here, just a really light sand, especially with the plywood, uh, to be extra careful not to tear too much of it. I didn't need to sand too much because we we're going to burn it, but... With all of the burning process, if you haven't seen any of this, again, visit the bed build. A lot of the, these specifics and technique I cover more in detail in that build. And the wash is just regular water and a rag, nothing fancy. And then as I got uh, done with this last piece, I realized I, I had to deepen the router edge on the front, so I had to go do that first before I finished. Okay, done. Let's take a look at this thing and talk about it a little bit. One of the things I really like about this is <laughs> nothing. Here is the finished product. I think it came out great. Let's talk about a couple of the things that, that I found along the way and they, they may help you if you decide to do something like this. Uh, one, if you're going to work with well, really any wood, but especially scrap wood like this, when you start to make your cuts and you pick the wood you're gonna use, take a second, I like to take a second to look at the, the wood, all the different pieces and decide which ones I wanna use for what. So I take a look at a piece like this and I, I see these really great knots on this side and I think where are my cuts going to be, where are my designs going to be, how is the wood going to be shaped, where are the cuts, here's a logo here that would have affected the, those uh, knots if there was one in the middle. So for me, this was a great side to use as my facing side. With this I routed the edge, I made the choice to do that before I burned. You could choose to do it afterwards. I wanted it to look a little bit roughed up, a little bit less defined. And, and have that more rustic, ranchy look. Same here with the, the hand routered logo. You can tell very clearly that it's been routered by hand. But for me, I like that. If you want to have this multi-toned uh, look on your project, then just make sure that you burn this part of the wood or a part of the wood heavier, more heavily than you would this part here. And, and you can really monitor that through the burn process. Start everything light and then you can pick and choose the areas that you wanna burn. The tone of this, once you dechar it, the tone is really gonna come out once you apply the linseed oil. That process will really help these colors pop and come alive and you'll really start to see the grain then. On top of having the added benefit of your project smelling like flax seed, so. There you go. I did not intend for these to look like castles, but with this design, there you go. One of the things I would have done differently probably is uh, to widen these arms on the outsides a little bit if I was gonna do this again. Uh, they, everything tends to widen out a little bit in these gaps that you cut after you burn them, after you router them, after you sand them. And I probably would have left a little bit more here so these didn't look quite so thin or flimsy on the outside. Not so much for the look, really just for the, the actual strength of holding it together. One of the other really important things to keep in mind if you're going to do a project with plywood is that it is, hello, plied wood. Sandwiched pieces of very thin wood are gonna react very differently than a solid piece of wood when you work with it. So when you apply any kind of intense force, whether you're sanding or using a jigsaw or any other kind of tool, it's easier for these layers to be sheared off. And that happened to me a couple times. I lost a little bit on these edges, which made them even thinner. And even here, you can see this piece right here got, got kind of cut out and, and I lost that some at some point during the process, which for me, it's okay, because again, for this project, it's all right. That's, was, that's kind of the point of this, to have a little bit more rough, uh, ranchy look to this thing. All in all, I think this really came out great. I, I may have also made the gaps here a little bit, uh, knowing that they were, I was gonna lose a little bit during those processes, I might have selected to make them a little bit tighter to begin with. There's just a little bit of, of play overall in it, but again, with the weight of the computer and just sitting still all the time, I think it's, it's not gonna be a problem at all. I really like the way it turned out. Well, there you go. I'm gonna call that a successful project. I know it wasn't the design that I set out for originally, but I really like the way it turned out. I think it's super practical and that it's gonna work great.
If you haven't already subscribed, please do that below. Click that button, it only takes a second. Give us a thumbs up, let us know how we're doing. You can tap that bell icon if you want notifications. I hope you had a good time and enjoyed the video. Until next time, so long from the ranch.